Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Lands of River Po. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to Lands of River Po. This is um, a new mod map to Farming Simulator today. So first off, if you are just here to see the map tour, go ahead and skip to it down below in the YouTube slider bar. If that's, I guess, if you just don't want to hear my intro. And if you just want to see a flyover of this map, feel free to do that down below as well. Just skip into it on the YouTube slider bar. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So this is Lance of River Poe. Uh, this is a map by Mickey48. This is 270.15 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. Um, so in the mod hub, it says, oh, and by the way, if you're on consoles and you come in here on new farmer, you're going to be running 745 slots. And if you're on start from scratch or farm manager, you're looking at 488 slots. So uh, just a heads up on that. So uh, in the mod hub, it says, welcome to the lands of the of the Po River, a fully flat standard size map reproducing an area rich in canals and marshy areas. Compatible seasons and precision farming, 38 fields of various sizes, the farm with cows and chickens. Uh, 13 points of commerce where to sell various products uh, three points where to buy various products the bga the shop and workshop uh, three forest areas and some free areas uh, where to place objects that can be positioned okay so that's what it says in the mod hub let's go ahead and jump into the tour so uh, we'll hop into the menu here first take a look at that in a second we'll turn that off and turn that down to one time so going across there are contracts on the fields you don't own you start off with $100,000 in new farmer mode, and you have quite a bit of equipment in here, which we'll take a look at in a second, and several sub points, once again, as mentioned. Um, okay, so here is the map. We start off right here, kind of smack in the middle on this little island, which I love the fact that you start out, uh, basically your starting farm is on this island here, which is, I think that's great. <laughs> um, so yeah, so essentially what we're gonna probably do with the tour, I um, mean, we can take a look, you can see there's not too expensive little chunks of land through here if you wanted to expand out. Do that sort of thing and then you also have these big chunks out here if you wanted to just kind of build whatever you want so lots of good options to do what you want there uh, you can't buy a lot of the store areas um, which i know some of you will want to do i usually like to be able to do that as well um biogas plant 166 000 we'll buy that here in a second uh but yeah we'll have to we'll work our way around this so i'm assuming these are the kind of the forestry areas well, we're probably that looks like a big placeable area too maybe that's a fee not probably a placeable area but anyhow we're probably gonna look around the starting farm here um, and then probably jump down to the shop and hop in a truck and then we'll probably just work our way up around this way across here down check that out and then check all this stuff out and then um, probably head down to the lime station and then head over here and wrap up here um, and then we'll do a fly over from there so that's the plan um, let's go ahead and add in some money for us. That should do it. Okay, let's look at our starting equipment. So we start off with a uh, Fet Fabric 511C, a New Holland T6125, a T8435, also a New Holland, or New, a New Holland, a New Holland uh, TX32. Continuing from there, we also have a, looks like a little trailer there, a bulk trailer, uh, or a uh, Kind of a chaff silage trailer there, bulk trailer, um, header for the New Holland, and then um, a grain header or a corn header as well. That's a big corn header too. That's really big for that harvester, I feel like. Uh, then we have a small plow, small cultivator, small direct drill seeder, uh, lime and fertilizer spreader, small manure spreader, um, a slurry tank. We also have a water tank, uh, front loader attachment, bucket, a large cow pasture, large chicken coop. Um, then we also have large grain silo, bunker silo, and then some sheds through here, it looks like. And then do we have those? I just want to double check. Do we do we have the ability to place those in here? Cow pasture and the chicken coop are in there. Nothing under miscellaneous. Those guys are in here, which uh, that looks like 200,000 dollars, 200,000 liters for 180 grand. Looks like it's about the same. So I don't know why that one's monitor in there, but anyhow. Nothing under decoration. Oh, nothing in the sheds. It'd be nice to have those sheds in there, those brick sheds. But uh, okay, so now we know what we got going on there. Let's go ahead and take a look around the farm. Uh, we should have a sleep trigger somewhere here. Theoretically. There we go. Okay, let's go actually, let's do this real quick. Give me a little more speed. Bump the time up a little bit. Okay, so 
we'll just cut out to the left here and work our way around the island because you can see this is kind of the edge out here. We go out to where the, the river is at. I like that. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so brick shelter here. Um, and then this is the other edge of the of the river, basically. This goes out. I like hearing that, that noise is great. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. We got bridge going off of our little farming island here. And then again, like we saw, the farmhouse is here. We'll kind of try to work our way around. It goes out to the edge there. We got some brick shelters here. I like all the extra storage they start you off with, too. We head down around this way. Lots of trees. Really cool island, honestly. Awesome. Down here, to what do we have? I bet you this is just going to say, yep, water fill trigger. So there you go. You have a place to go get some water if you need to. Up over here, brick shelter. Bunker silos right here. And then over here, looks like we got our cows. Yep, 200 cows there. Grain silos over here, right here. And then... Okay, we got our a lot of a lot of storage space. That's a big brick shelter too. I like that. Actually, I think it's all of the yeah. It's just those three put together. Awesome. Another brick shelter out there. And then uh, did I miss our chickens? Yeah, they're right over here. Here's where our chickens are at. All right, there we go. That one does look modded, but the other one I don't think is uh, really too different. Tractor parked out here. Nope, nothing in it. I just had to check. Uh, but yeah, and then we're back around the edge here. So that's kind of how this uh, the layout is here. A lot of the stuff is stored up in here. So yeah, that's kind of how this layout is. So let's go ahead and purchase a pickup truck. That'll help us be able to drive around. And then we will jump over to the shop. Hop out of there because I want to take a look at the shop. Prepare trigger here. I like how they got that kind of set up, actually. Look at this. A little booth out here. <laughs> that's awesome. I like that. Sofa's in here. Look at this bad boy, too. That looks great. That's awesome. If you guys are uh, cloth farmers, you guys will love this. Uh, good detail on here. I like that quite a bit. Door trigger right there. Another little cloth display or, yeah, set up there. I feel like that would be angling out, maybe, but <laughs> that's okay. Back side of the shop here. Go around there. Eh, maybe. Is this an automatic gate or oh it might be automatic hopefully it's automatic so we can get out of here uh but okay i have really good detail on it all right so again we're gonna yeah we're gonna take a left out of here i guess that depends if it lets us out or not Ooh. There we go. I bet you it opens at uh, 8 in the morning or something. And usually if you just skip time ahead using the F11 screen, it doesn't like it. So that probably has an hours on it, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, we'll head this way. And if you guys are looking for the mod review for today, that'll come out probably a bit late. I had time before I go to work to get this done, I believe. Uh, but I'm not going to have time to get the mod review done as well. So I'll get it done a little bit later. So be a little delayed. I'm working one of my days off this week. And we have our first sell point right here. This looks like the sawmill. Wood sell point right there. Looks like wood chips over there. Yep, down here at the sawmill. Where you at in there? Ooh, doesn't show up in here. Is there a wood chip sell point? Ooh, no wood chip sell point. At least not here. That's while we're actually in here. Let's go ahead and buy the biogas plant because that's going to be our next stop anyways. All right, we'll loop out of here and continue on the road. I love how it's kind of just mingled into the river area here. I love it. Love all the water details. You could do all sorts of things with this stuff if you wanted to. Gives you the ability to pretty much be creative with it as you want. Nice little placeable area here to the left. And here's the BGA. Oh, BGA not open. That one is an auto, or not an automatic gate. That one is a uh, click to open, so thank goodness. Uh, okay, BGA, so this looks like the standard. I think this is the Raven port BGA. But anyhow, you have your digester right here. Digestate point right here, and then you can see the 
water off the edge of the map there and you got a couple of bunker silos right around here so um there you guys go let's go ahead and take a look in here where's the biogas plant where you at there you are okay uh so they're gonna take silage grass hay manure and slurry so fantastic and we're just going to head straight that goes off to the edge of the map that way so we're just going to head straight here and this should keep us going and we have another cell point out here on this island just fantastic what a great map what a great map setup i like that all right and right here another cell point this is where are we at this is the molino right here they're gonna take corn uh wheat barley and oats yeah so wheat barley oats and corn all right and they got that guy looks like he's trying to drag that pallet around without too much luck all right we'll head out this way that sound if you guys heard that with the recording there's a little bit of a sound there but it seemed really abrupt all right another cell point coming up here on the left did i pass it no here it is okay all right so up in here straight ahead right here in front of us the cell point we are at the olive i don't know what it's called the ola that's that's how i'm gonna say it the ola <laughs> you guys are like stop it please uh sunflowers corn and that's what you got here so there you go they'll take sunflowers and corn here sorry i'm starting to lose my voice a little bit because it's early morning mostly <laughs> oh gosh the first video of the day is always rough <laughs> especially when i have to go to work after this and i'm not looking forward to it oh gosh okay now it'll be fine i just try not to work my days off if i can avoid it at my other job my real job <laughs> all right and here i believe this is going to be the spinnery for us yep spinnery cell point okay spinnery is going to take wool and cotton there we go all right, we need to go this way. I love the bridges aren't all the same either, too. There's some different bridges here and there. Like this one looks like it's the same style, but it's been like refurbished or repainted, which is great. The mud down that way. To the left, is there anything? Where do we need to go here? Oh yeah, we need to check that out down there. Let's just kind of loop around here. Well, I shall do this as a test to see if we can drive through these bushes. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, and out this way, and into here. All right, and then here looks like is our cell point. Bet you this is probably for sugar beets and or potatoes or something. So we are at this bad boy right here. They're gonna take yep. Oh, sugar cane, sugar cane. No sugar beets, potatoes. Just sugar cane. It definitely looks like sugar beets, but <laughs> that's okay. They take sugar cane here. They said there's buy points too. Are they talking? I wonder if they mean water fill trigger. That could be one of, well, technically, I guess it's a fill station, lime station, fuel station. Maybe those are the three buy points. I don't know. Anyhow, all right, we'll continue on. I'm not sure what's going on with the house. I bet you that's what they're referring to. Oop. There we go. I don't say my game kind of, my game kind of froze there for a second. There we go. All right. Head out this way. Take a left here. I'll try to head. We'll try to cut the corner a little bit. Actually, we want to take out this, probably go out this road. The farm is right there across that road. That's right where we've made our way back to. And then up here, if we take a left, go across this little bridge here. Got a couple of cell points out here. First one's dead ahead. Right here looks like a little supermarket or something. But you have a cell point right here where we're at. We are at, yep, the supermarket. What's the supermarket? Well, look at that. Supermarket. They're going to take uh, potatoes, eggs, and milk. Awesome. Good on them. All right, next cell point is going to be right over there. So we'll just cut through their grass real quick. And out this way, 
So here's our next supplement. This one might be sugar beets and potatoes, hopefully. Or at least sugar beets. So that's the one we don't have yet. I guess we have potatoes. But uh, cell point right here. We are at, okay, that guy right there. This guy right here, sugar cane. Uh, ooh, they take a lot of stuff here. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, uh, sugar beets, potatoes, sugar cane, and that's everything. Yeah, they take, they take a lot here. So this is going to be a good sell point to head to. All right, looking at our map. How are we doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. All right, so we'll take a look at uh, the hotel is going to be our next stop, it looks like. And the hotel is going to buy like maybe milk and eggs. I'm not sure what else they would want to buy there, but we'll see when we get there. So we head up this way. We'll just cut a left here. The hotel should, yeah, all right there. Oh, good. I like how they have that set up so you can drive. Well, well don't hit the barriers, but uh, in general, it looks like you can just kind of drive through it, which is really nice. Perfect. Yeah, because you can bring a truck through there if you wanted to. But uh, okay. The hotel is going to take. Milk and eggs and potatoes. Nice. I suppose potatoes would be a good thing to buy, but you probably don't need them in that big of a bulk capacity, but that's all right. Um, and off here on the, is it on the right in here? It might be in here. I think it's in here. There's that cell point on there. It's kind of hard to see where it goes in and out of here. There might actually be a back entrance out of this place. Yeah, there is. Oh, cool. So cell, yeah, cell point right here. We are at the Casificio. They're gonna take milk and that's everything. So kind of a dairy plant looks like here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's drive out this way and cross the bridge here. And then the fuel point's actually right there on the left. Uh, we're gonna kind of pass it here and then we'll head out to the final cell point, which is out on or not the not, this, not the final cell point the final cell point over here i suppose but uh the animal dealer and another cell point just out here all right here we are animal dealer there for us and then cell point right here looks like it's probably gonna be the the barn i'm gonna bet it's the barn uh silage grass hay and straw and that is everything that's confirmed that yep there's the barn right there so we'll head out this way past the fuel point then we'll take a left here Head out, take a look at uh, the Lime Station. Then we'll head out here, and then we'll do a flyover and wrap up the tour. So if that is the plan. All right, let's get ourselves backed out of here. Perfect, and we are off and cruising. It's a cool map. I really like this one, guys. I love all the water features on it. I know I've said that before already, but uh, now I do like it when there's some nice water features on a map, but this one's kind of built around... Uh, having a town and farms in the area of a river, which is great and fairly common. A lot of towns and rivers and whatnot, or a lot of towns and farms and whatnot would often be near water sources for obvious reasons, because that's kind of something that's important. <laughs> All right, swoop, sloop, swoop around here, not sloop around here. Drive across the bridge here. See, that bridge is a little bit different too. Drive around the roundabout. And then over here should take us up to the Lime Station. There's some traffic on here as well. Ooh, maybe they... Ooh, looks like they probably sell other stuff too, maybe. Oh. Yeah, I bet you they sell more than just Lime. Well, that looks like the Lime Station over here. There looks like a buy... Oh, here's all the buy points. Here we go. All right. It yeah, looks like probably manure, slurry. Um, and then lime is looks like a, there's some lime under that building. Yeah, right there is a trigger point you can see under there. So under this building, right there, that's the lime. But awesome, that's cool. Those might even been some buy points out there too that I missed. But that's cool. So you probably can buy almost anything you need here, which is great. It's a nice feature to a map. Bulk buy points are awesome. I mean, you can also place your own. I suppose it's not that big of a deal to do that. But at the same time, it's just nice to have them there already. All right, we'll cross over here and then head down to the bottom corner. Got some boats out there like that. And then this is our final couple of cell points out here. Little parking area, it looks like. Roundabout, we're going to cut the roundabout out. This guy should let us in automatically. There we go. All right, so first cell point is just down over here. 
Oh, a lumber cell point again. That's kind of nice to have that. At least that's what it looks like. Confirm here. Yeah, export wood. Perfect. Area port export wood. And then there should be another export center over here. We'll go try to track that down. This is the port from Felsbrunn. Could be wrong, but that's kind of what it looks like. Where's that other cell point? Aha, I passed right by it when I went in the entrance. So right here is the other cell point. They're gonna take sugar beets, potatoes, and sugar cane. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and fly over this bad boy. Oop, we can leave that on. So we're up here at the port. I love the boats moving around. It's a good feature. Forestry area is here, which is awesome. You have that uh, right next to your sawmill there. Or your, I guess your wood export, but same basic principle. <laughs> a little L field down there. And again, you can expand fields out, clear these out. You can build a whole farm through here. Um, lots of room to expand. Cell point down there, and then your main farm, you can see kind of off in the distance there. You can access those too. So if you wanted to mow them or do whatever you wanted, I like that. VGA down below us there. Heads out the way we went. We didn't really go down here, but down here we have a lot of arable land, it looks like. Little farmhouse down here. Yep, a couple of little farmhouses. Cool. This the this is one of those cell points. Yep, one of the cell points here. And then we have that's the road we headed up to, so we didn't really come out this way. There's kind of the marshy area they were talking about. Got some wood air, wooded areas out here. See, the map has all this extra space out here, which is great. And some grass areas where you could either farm them or make fields or mow grass, do whatever you want. We have this guy out on the island, which and no way to get to it <laughs> other than swimming. But <laughs> there you go. We go down this way. The road kind of heads out there. And then this comes down. Oh, this is cool. I have to take a boat across. That's nifty, <laughs> giving that kind of illusion there. Boats out there. We head back down this way. Ooh, actually looks like we got all this animal deer. Is like, is there another farm out here? But no, it's the animal deer. Some placeable animals out there. And that's kind of where we ended up was out there. So let's kind of take a look at some of the middle stuff. Town looks great. Uh, fuel point right there. Lots of good bridges around, little fields here. So if you wanted to start farming, you could do that around the around this area here with those fields. A couple of areas to get in and out of your farm, it looks like. This looks like, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to drive over that, but a couple areas to get across your farm there. And I'm sure you could probably landscape in a bridge if you wanted to, but uh, yeah, really cool, really cool. Um, let's go ahead and actually do one more thing before I wrap it up. Let's buy just this field down in the corner and that's getting to landscape mode here just so we can paint on and see what we can paint um, I just do it down in the corner just so it's out of the way for what I want to do a screenshot here in a bit so I don't have to reload a new map so we got dirt the cement the light cement dirt again kind of the leafy mulchy texture grass Kind of the gra grass with the dirt in the bottom, a darker grass, gravel, paving tiles, paving tiles that are dirty. Oh, the river rock looking stuff there. I love that. It's one of my favorite textures. I wish every map had that. Kind of the stones there. Another kind of stone color there. Getting into the sand, back to the dirt, and then we're back to the pavement. So there you go. A couple of landscape textures there. But that is the end of the tour. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.